Welcome to another edition of Sportflow Outdoors. Well, in this episode, uh, we actually got in our cars and took our, ourselves a little road trip. Well, it's a it's a brisk morning. It's early May here in Minnesota, and I I left I left the old homestead yesterday to head up to. Uh, farther north, northern Minnesota in the Grand Rapids area. We're seeing the uh, the old boy up north. My father-in-law, George, has some beautiful property in the uh, Grand Rapids, Minnesota area, which is the true gateway to northern Minnesota. Uh, again, it's early morning, and uh, as is often the case, I didn't bring a, a coat or anything. It was in the, I was almost 80 degrees when I left the Twin Cities area yesterday course wake up here and it's in the mid 30s but it's beautiful I mean this is uh, the Sun's just popped up and you can hear the birds and there's just a, a, a beautiful uh, just sense out here uh, the quiet I hear swans in the background uh, geese I hear all sorts of songbirds things are waking up here in the northern Minnesota woods so let's just uh, stomp around here on uh, this beautiful acreage and see what we see this morning Okay, I've, I've hiked a, a fair distance, about 200 yards ahead of me is a small a small lake, one of Minnesota's 10,000 lakes, and I can hear a couple trumpeter swans, and I'm uh, hoping I can, there they are, kind of sneak up uh, and get some good footage of them. But again, it's a, it's a beautiful morning. I'm seeing ducks and, and all sorts of songbirds and woodpeckers just having a great walk in the uh, northern Minnesota woods. Let's continue. Well, there they go. Two swans that have been making so much noise and sure enough, before I could get to the lake, uh, they took off. But we'll still want to get down to that lake and see what's going on. It's not just the beautiful things that we see in the in the early morning it's the things we hear I can hear rough grouse drumming it sounds like a couple of beavers are talking to each other just over my shoulder here uh, but it pays to get up bright and early and uh, hike around and just enjoy not only the sights but the sounds
Well, that lake was awfully nice, wasn't it? Let's keep exploring. I kind of got to keep moving. I'm getting kind of cold. So we're going to pack up the camera and uh, start walking around, do a little hiking around and see what else we can see. Right now we're in the quiet, calm, cool part of a, a forest. It looks like uh, mostly balsams. There's some pines and some spruce in here as well. But uh, what a peaceful place to be. Uh, Minnesota is a big state. I mean, you could travel corner to corner and travel 400 miles uh, in Minnesota and very diverse too. In the southeastern part of the state, you got rolling hills and some farmland and beautiful trout streams. The southwestern portion is some of the best farming country. Uh, the northeastern part, whereas we're on the edge of right now, is known for its, uh, its beautiful forests. It seems, it seems I'm sharing uh, this part of the forest with some, some neat little songbirds this morning. Well, that was a fun morning of exploration. Uh, I was hoping to see some, some wild turkeys. In the past couple of years, some turkeys started showing up around here, and I was hoping to get some images of them. It's springtime. It would be great if I could have got a gobbler that was really strutting his stuff, but uh, we saw a lot of other great things. Uh, so blessed to have a family farm that I can come up and visit. Uh, we'll be heading back. Uh, to the Twin Cities area, the old homestead here uh, shortly, but uh, what, uh, what, a, what a thrill. It just really pays to get up early in the morning and to, to take in the beautiful sights uh, in northern Minnesota here. Well, we did actually end up seeing that uh, old Tom Turkey, but instead of gobbling for us, uh, he showed up looking for some breakfast, and sure enough, uh, George went out and helped him out. Thanks for tuning in and watching another episode of Sport Flow Outdoors. Uh, until next time, get out there and enjoy the beautiful outdoors. It's spring, summer's ahead, and we're going to spend a lot of time outdoors looking at some really neat places coming up. Stay tuned. Thank you.